Hey, and welcome back to the last video in this three-part tutorial series. In this video, we're going to take the height map that we eroded in the last episode using Wilbur, and we're going to add color and hill shading. If you're as restless of a person as me, I have added a file containing all you need to render a map like this in the description of this video. I do recommend that you follow this tutorial though, in order to understand how and why the file looks like it does. We begin by making sure that the file has a color mode of 8 bit RGB, and then we remove the white square. Use the magic wand tool with a tolerance of 0 to select and remove the pure black background. Press Ctrl J to copy the layer, and then add a posterize effect. We're going to posterize as many times as we have colors. In my case, it's 9, the same amount of layers that I've included in the height map template. As you can see, we've lost most of the details that we had when we exported the image to Wilbur. To bring this back, we're going to start by adding a curves layer and to play around with the coloring until we're satisfied with the results. For more control, we could even add a levels layer. To remove some of the grainy detail in the height map, we can add a Gaussian blur filter to the height map. In this case, I used a blur of 0.3 pixels. We can then group all of these layers together and move the mask to the group layer. Duplicate the bottom height map layer and move it to the top. We're going to add a blur, in this case 0.6 pixels, and we're going to apply the layer mask. We're then going to invert the layer by pressing Ctrl I, then go to Filter, Styles, and Emboss. Here, you can play around with the height and amount to better suit your liking. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing this twice to have greater control over the amount of details. We're going to copy the height map once again, we're going to blur it and apply the layers mask. We're then going to add a levels effect and crunch the colors. We're then going to merge the layers effect with the layer. Once again we're going to emboss and change the height and depth depending on the amount of detail we want. Now that we've done this we have an issue with the embossed layers, they're grey. So to fix this, we're going to add a white solid on top of each embossed layer, change the solids blending mode to overlay, merge the layers, and give each layer a blending mode of linear burn. And we're going to do this to all of our hill shading layers. We're going to add the embossed layers into a group and give the group the same layer mask as the coloring. We're then going to add a gradient map to our posterized topology. In this tutorial, I am using a custom gradient with colors from my style sheet. And now to the last step. Add a solid with the color of your choice, and drag it to the bottom, and then we can call it done. And uh, after all of these videos, your results should look something like this. Thank you for watching the third and last video in this series. Make sure to subscribe not to miss whenever I post new map making tutorials. Perhaps I decide to revise the series once again, or just to support my work. And I'll say it once again, the higher the numbers, the better I feel about having put my time and energy into making these videos. Peace.